Coming into Union, I had no idea what I wanted to major in, so then I sort of picked environmental science, felt good about that, and then I picked up geology too. And I always just believed, you know, college, four years, that would be more than enough. And now, next year, I'm heading to graduate school to get my master's. More than half of our geology graduates here at Union College end up going on to graduate school at some point after they've graduated. Most tend to take a year or two off. Uh, they do things like join the Peace Corps, they may work for an environmental consulting firm, but in fact a lot of them do go on to graduate school and earn master's degrees. My advisor at the union encouraged me to apply and I was kind of like, I don't know, like I don't know if I want to do more schooling and they asked, well what are you going to do next year? Well, I'll get a job. Well, did you know that you could go to graduate school, like full scholarship, and they'll pay you to teach, to work as a TA or maybe a research assistant? And I said, no, I didn't know that. Maybe I should apply. The great thing about grad school in geology is that generally your tuition should be paid for and the graduate school the department will give you a stipend that is either from being an RA, a research advisor, or a TA, a teaching advisor. I have a TA for next year and so my tuition is paid for and I get a stipend to live off of. It's a great way to continue geology without worrying so much about it, incurring more debt because you're really becoming a research scientist at this point and deciding what you want to specialize in. And while I have some vague idea that I want to go into something related to environment and also sediments, what happens is you get an advisor and you eventually choose a project which you'll work on for the next two to two and a half years and that'll be your master's thesis. So essentially while you take some classes to supplement your thesis and increase your learning, most of it is about this thesis and you're a lot more independent and it's more like a job. After the summer starts, I start writing my thesis. I'm gonna take some more geology courses and then it's uh, time to apply to graduate school. And then comes graduate school and after that, I, I think I might wanna be a professor. I think that this department has inspired me to teach. Next year I'm going to go to Uganda on a Minerva Fellowship and work in a healthcare clinic in Dige, Uganda, which is uh, I think an hour from the nearest post office. <laughs> and there's uh, no electricity, but I'm going to work in a health clinic and uh, a school and teach English, hopefully environmental stuff and maybe science. And also um, I'm an EMT here so hopefully I'll be able to do something that would be useful medically in the health clinic. People at graduate institutes know the name Union College and I was pretty impressed by that and they knew the name of the professors in the department because the research that the professors here are doing is, is like frontline stuff, everyone's reading it, our professors are getting published and it's, it's a reputable college and even looking at schools on the other side of the country they're like, oh yeah, Union! you're definitely going to be prepared for this program. Once I'm done with my master's, I plan to go on and get a PhD at uh, Syracuse University. And then I'll probably end up either going into industry. Uh, so for my specialties, that probably means either mineral exploration or uh, petroleum, or I'll go into academia uh, in, in a teaching environment. So I haven't determined which one of those paths I'm going to take yet.